What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer Do Do Nine, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. You frighten me, you. Anyway, last time we managed to completely finish up Mad Monster Mansion. I can see it's quite hard work to limp around that squawking jerk! I told you once, Gruntilda, don't talk smack about Kazooie, and I also can't reach that one up. We can- Anyway! Last time, we completely finished up Mad Monster Mansion and got every collectible we could there. In this episode, we don't really know exactly where we're headed off to next, but there are a few places here in Gruntilda's lair that we need this pumpkin ability for. Thankfully, I know where they are, or at the very least two of them. No idea if there's a third. But anyway, this seems suspicious. Where does this lead to? Um... Egg... More eggs... Wait, is that a... M Mambo? Okay, there's also a ghost there. I don't know why Mumbo is here. I never known him to be here in the overworld. Wait a minute. Well, I have to be a pumpkin to get out, so... Okay. This is interesting, but okay. We'll go ahead and do this. Switch back to Banjo, and... Kill the ghost! Wait, what the... Why is the ghost not going after me? Why is he not going after me? There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. It, a switch that changes the water level? Water level of where? Huh. That looks like our potential next area. Okay, well, is there anything in these coffins? Aside from eggs being in front of them? No? No, there's nothing? Alright, well, whatever. It was worth a shot, I guess. Although, what exactly they could be hiding is another question entirely. I mean, maybe golden feathers or something like that. Not like they'd hide notes or jiggies. Pumpkin making Mumble hungry. Me get pot ready. I'm out! <laughs> Later, Mambo. I don't want to get eaten. I'm too delicious to be eaten. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, well, whatever. It's not like we're completely done using the pumpkin anyway. Although, we kind of need the pumpkin to get out. No, there was that other area by Bruntilda, I believe, that we needed to be small for. That was in the volcano area. So, who knows? Maybe that will be uh, where we put in the Jiggies to access that new area. Because that looked like a new area, and I know exactly where that is. Okay, unfortunately, I need to be very careful. I also need to make sure Gruntilda shut up. How bright they are, you stupid shorts! A target for my done cohorts! Okay, that was one that was at least new. I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to die and have to go back to Mumbo again. Anyway, it's not as treacherous as it looks to be, but uh, better safe than sorry. Alright, so now we can go through this little bitty hole and see where it takes us. So where does it, where does it actually take us? What's his name, Cheaty? Cheeto? Cheeto. Cheeto Bear and Bird have found once more! Another spell they get! If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn! Nasty witches, so code I shall tell. Enter Red Feathers on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Co! Sweet! Sounds like a Red Feather upgrade! That's nice, because I've seen so many red feathers, and 50 is just... It seems like a low cap. But that's actually really nice. 
Okay, so we need to head back to Treasure Trove Cove then and enter that. Unfortunately, ew, that's a bit of a distance, but thankfully, we have the cauldron shortcut available to us! Oh, and I start out as a pumpkin here. Unfortunately, it cost me a life. Okay. So even if I did fall off, it wouldn't have been that bad, but at least my prior assumption was correct in that... Mumbo magic get weak. My prior assumption was right in the fact that getting going down there was instant death. Unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure where exactly we need to go to open up that area. But... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait. No, we can do that now, I guess. Where's... Oh, wait, did I never... I guess I never did open that up in the... before. I thought I... Oh, whatever. Point is, I don't need to get rid of that web. And I don't believe I could reach that with a jump. Let me actually see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, there's no way I can get that with just a high jump. So I'm gonna need to fly in order to get that jiggy that I opened up from the grunty switch. And then we can head on over to Treasure Trove Cove. So let's see if we can get this jiggy first. Okay, that actually wasn't really that bad. And yeah, that this is totally the way to get this. Um, Damn it! Uh, it's the way to do it if I don't screw it up. Wait, what the? Oh, ah. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to do a beak dive? I wanted to try to do that. I accidentally hit the wrong button, but it seems like, it seems like Kazooie gets stuck in the eye. So maybe I have to beak bomb in and maybe she'll crash through. Grunty's eye. Okay, and now she's just... Now she's just insulting Banjo. Come on, Gruntilda. I know you can do better than that. Not exactly... Well, I can't exactly say that because I actually like Banjo. I like Kazooie more. But whatever. Let's see if we can actually get to it this time. This really shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so we go over this way, we climb up, and we bust up. Shut up. Okay, my finger is off the trigger button. Perfect! That was what I wanted to do the entire freaking time. And I got a jiggy. Okay, so now we can head on up to the new, where exactly was the new area? Was it through? Was it through Grunty's mouth or was it up the other side? I feel like it was up the other side. It was up the other side. Why did I think it was up? Well, why did I think that Mad Monster Mansion was up? I feel like it was up though. Um, was there another place to go? I'm actually slightly lo- Oh! No, I wasn't confused. Okay. Oh, actually, since this place is underwater now, does that mean... Do, 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 do. Well, not quite. I guess there's another... There must be another switch that... Oh, shoot! Actually, 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 actually. In my quest to get that Jiggy, I completely forgot about the cheat code. Why don't we go and... Actually, wait, what? No, I can't get up there. Why don't we go and activate that cheat code before I forget? Because <laughs> I know I will. Alright, so now that we're back in here, we can actually enter the letters that we need to enter. Okay, so the combination... R E D Where's an F? F F F F F F There it is F E A T 
he H H H H He was back up here and R What? Ah, uh, wasn't it red feather or red feathers? Red feathers. Okay, it was plural. Bird and bear get 100 red feathers. 100 maximum now is. All oh, my feathers. It makes me sick. Fly to me, your butt I'll kick. Nice. Okay. Um. You know, I wonder. No. Okay. If there is an upgrade to the gold feathers, which I think Cheeto said that he was in three areas, but if there is one, then I probably have to go and talk to him first, and then it will activate the ability to do so. Well, anyway, let's head back to that one area that I almost went through, and then decide to come back here. Okay, so now that we're back here, we can actually head on into this area. And maybe find the means to opening up the new area? Um, I mean, maybe. We can at least reach this spot, which is nice. The only question is, oh hey, it's the rare logo. How do I reach it? Okay, the only question is, how do I open up this area? I can't get up that way. Okay, well, whatever, there's some stairs over here. Or is that a ramp? No, those are stairs. Okay, so that looks like the entrance to the area. Ah, no! You can die. And then this one can die as well, yeah. That's gotta be the entrance to the area. I just need to be able to open up the area first. Oh hey, a cauldron! Oh, nice. Okay, so I've got a shortcut from, oh, where, what, oh, that was on top of that, of the area that I was just in. Okay. Um, well, let's go to the rare box and smash it. Ooh, water level increase. Okay, let's hit it. Okay. Oh, hey, a golden feather. So that opens that up. So I've got a way that I can go to up there. But there was also down this way. I can see what I opened up down here. So why don't we check this first? Because I think this had me more intrigued than the other spot. See, so there's that pesky little mine and who knows maybe I can actually find the way to open up that area going one of these paths Um, oh Hey golden feather Hey didn't expect that to actually work Um, is there nothing in here? Nope Okay, well at the very least it I opened up this path Where does this take me? I feel like I'm in C Cerulean in Jet Force Gemini? You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. Interesting. Um, 640. I can go through here. Okay, well, let's not change the water level for now. And instead... Enter through this door. A oh, thank you, a oh, thank you. What's through here? Oh, um. Doesn't this look pleasant? Yeah. I know I can easily run through here with invincibility, but whatever. I'm good. I'm. Where am I? Uh, seriously, where am I? Suddenly, everything got green. Um, this is not where I expected to end up. 
but there's lots of places to explore. And can I please stop getting caught underneath the leaf? Thank you. All right, what is up here? Another note door, 765, which we do not have. Okay, well, I guess we can explore the trees and see where this leads us. Scary Root takes us to a mumbo token. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm back here. Interesting. Okay, that looks like the entrance to a level over there. Okay, so once again, I'm confronted with two... Oh, a jiggy switch? Ah! Uh, ow. You again! Hey, Brentilda! Uh, uh, sure, why not? Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is flying radio control bats! I'm still here! I watch you play! But I can't think of much to say. As your sister spills more of your secrets? This poor guy called Undead Ed was her first and only boyfriend. Gruntilda dated a zombie? Okay. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a baby dragon as a pet. That sounds awesome. Okay, seriously, a baby dragon as a pet. That just sounds amazing. I'm actually jealous of Gruntilda for that one. Do not envy her in pretty much everything else, but on the baby dragon, that just sounds awesome. Okay, well the question is, where do I... I opened up the switch to open up this level, and unfortunately I didn't quite catch the nail. Oh, shoot. Um, well, I know an easier way of getting back. That's probably what that, what this path is, is a, an easier way to get, wah! An easier way to get back to the previous area. Alright. But we at the very least opened up the way to get into this new area. But we need to find the actual, you know, puzzle in order to activate it. Unfortunately, we're pretty much out of time here. Uh, wait a minute, what the? What the? Oh, okay. I got really confused for a second. I thought the water level reverted back to its old, its original level. I thought, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. All right, we can potentially raise the water level, but I want to see what's up here. Because I'd rather go through it on land than on... Than trying to swim through it. And maybe we can actually act, open up this level while we're here. Uh, let's see. Bees. Uh, yeah, I figured that looked like a way that I can go. Let's see, what is in here? We are pretty much out of time, but I would like to... Hey! Find one of these! Let's see. Let's go ahead and put the jigsaw pieces in. And we open up. Rusty Bucket Bay! Alright, a brand new level for us to explore. Which we'll get into next time, but I would like to just go and explore this little area. I want to finish up exploring Gruntilda's lair, and then we can go ahead and s start next time in Rusty Bucket Bay. What the heck? What the? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, that's the entrance to Mad Monster Mansion! So that is breakable. Unfortunately, I don't see a way of breaking it while, you know, I'm completely submerged underwater. Come on, because we go the right way. 
Yeah, I don't see a way of being able to break that. That looks like a shortcut, though, if I can actually manage to... Uh, well, open it. I don't see a good way of doing that, though, but regardless... We've opened up the way to the next level, and we are going to tackle it next time. So, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie! We are going to head into Rusty Bucket Bay and see what this brand new level has in store for us. So until next time, everyone, take care.